And also y'all don't mind my little soggy background it's a little sad right now because you know i'm moving things around so right now i am serving you old hollywood looks with this uh finger wave uh wig right here which is brought to you by divatrust.com i'm partnering again with them to bring you all this review for this unit right here which is the um janet collection full lace mimi wig as you all know there's the mommy wig but there's also the mimi wig which is the full lace version which we're going to talk about that full lace part in a minute but this is in the color number one one and y'all I already knew I was gonna love this wig because I did previously own the mommy wig and um, I also did a styling video on that actually a few years ago or so so I'll leave the link down below to where you can find that video if you want to see how I pretty much styled it now what you see here is not at all what it looked like when it came right out the package and that's the thing with the mommy and the Mimi wig they don't look anything like what you would want them to look like when it comes right out the package it is definitely something you have to you know work your magic on use a little gel use a little mousse and a little snip snip here and there and it'll work out but of course before we get into it if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button bell button and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this so getting into the review again this is the janet collection um full lace mimi wig in the color number one now i'm going to just start off with the positive points i absolutely love this wig i think anybody and everybody can rock this a short you know finger wave style is so cute it's a classic look and you can't ever go wrong with it and now of course like i said you're gonna have to work your magic on it um, what I did honestly I just took some eco style well first of all I cut it you know on the sides just to kind of taper the sides a little bit and then I took some um, mousse in fact I'll show you all then I took some of this here uh, eco styler gel as well as this mousse right here so I could get it to lay down flat as you see right here and then I just took my rat tail comb and then just kind of went over the waves so I pretty much just kind of cut it down to size and then took my mousse and my gel and you know took my comb and just you know follow the pattern but at the same time pushing it down and then I put a um, satin scarf on to kind of push it down a little bit further now it is also 100% human hair so if you want you can dye it but it does come in different colors so you don't have to really you know worry about dyeing it and whatever um, so you do have obviously the human hair texture and feel it's all you know 100% Remy human hair and it really does take to gel and mousse and water really really well especially because being that it's human hair it's just gonna you know easily be moldable and everything so so those are the pros of this wig now the cons of this wig um first and foremost we're gonna talk about this whole full lace joint right here so when they say full lace now a full lace wig in my opinion what i had originally thought um a full lace wig is you know when the entire you know body of the wig is all lace and you can pretty much part it wherever you want no that's not the case with this right here because um it, I, will, I will start a little clip the lace is only around the perimeter of the wig and really when I say even perimeter, it's just the front of the wig and then the back. And there's really no reason why there should be lace because you're really not even gonna see it. Um, I don't know what my back looks like, if it's really bumpy or not, but yeah, I'll break them right here. But yeah, so you're really not even gonna see it at all. And so I don't really understand the point of that. Um, and so I do think that the whole full lace thing, I think they should need, they really should just take that off and don't even even bother with the lace if they're not going to make it a full lace wig. What I was wondering, because I had saw the mommy wig, the mommy wig too and all that, and then I saw the Mimi wig and I was like, what's the difference? Like the price difference is definitely a big difference because it's a $20 difference because you can get the mommy wig literally for like $20 and the Mimi wig is like $40, $41 or $42 or something like that. So I don't really understand why, why just the lace around the front makes it you know $20 extra and you don't even get a part right here which I thought you did get a part but no there's no you know like at least like lace parting right here would make it somewhat you know worth the $40 maybe I don't even know but yeah it's the same exact thing as the mommy wig so I don't really understand the whole you know full lace part so I do think that is um, something that needs to be just kind of taken out um, I also noticed that you can't really find this wig too many places. I did find it, of course, on divatrust.com, eBay, 
um, and a couple like two or three other sites but really when you type in Mimi wig mommy wig pops up so I don't know if this is a wig that they're trying to you know maybe you know weighing off of and just more so like advertise the mommy wig because I feel like that's what it is but nonetheless it is still super cute I love it in this jet black color I think it just makes me look so like you know old school old Hollywood so cap construction you have your two combs actually right here in the front and then you have your one comb in the back along with adjustable straps the wig cap I do feel like is kind of big head friendly um i am like i consider myself a big head so um so i did kind of struggle a little bit with putting this wig on i don't know exactly why but like i felt like i had an easier time with the mommy wig and this one felt just a little bit tighter i don't know maybe i should just adjust the straps or something like that but um i think that the wig just fit a tad bit snug but it is meant to just kind of be, you know snug to your head more than most wigs just because it is a shorter style that is supposed to kind of mimic you know the finger wave style that you do in real hair now of course divatrust.com they don't play with the shipping and it came super super quickly so you don't even have to worry about that um the price is actually the most reasonable i found via other sites so i compared it to like ebay and everywhere and the one on divatrust i think i believe is actually the cheapest so definitely check them out if you are interested in this wig whereas the other ones you're gonna have to worry about like like tax and all of that jazz so I think that yeah I definitely think that Demon Trust has the cheapest version and of course I'll link that down below so you can check them out and so it does come with hair care instructions and you are able to curl this or maybe even straighten it up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit um, and it does tell you if you want to do like shampooing, conditioning, all of that. It tells you on the back of here. So definitely hold on to this card if you're interested in that. So that is all for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this. And also comment down below if you have suggestions or ideas for upcoming videos. And if you want me to review certain wigs, let me know. Holla at me. And yeah. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I love you all. And I'll see you soon. Bye.